Ocean e Boulevard uh, intersection at Ashworth to Boar's Head. What's on the side? Ocean Boulevard, Ashworth to Boar's Head. Um, Ocean Boulevard. I, I think the, I, I, people are, uh, disagree with me, but I think that the the middle parking is is dangerous. I think we need to do something with that. And I know a lot of people disagree with that. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know what the solution is for people jumping over that fence in the middle of Ocean Boulevard to get to the beach. You know, Someone actually. suggested. Is it one of you guys? Of making a higher fence. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Making like a 40 foot, 40 foot, 40, 40 inch, 40 when inch. People fly through that parking lot. They cut across that. I just think it's 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 the most unsafe part of the, t of the beach. You know, it's, it's, I, I don't know. I don't, I just don't like that whole setup. But I know a lot of people are against that. So I, I'm just going to let it, let it slide by and let you guys figure it out. Yeah. I look well, at it now, I think it's unsightly to have those two, I'll call them those barrier fences. If you move the parking to the, to the beach side, you're going to lose one of them. And then if you, uh, and then you'd have a whole new fence, which I'm sure would be much better or maybe different than the one that we have now that goes along the side of the road. Uh, I just think it'll look a lot better. Uh, and I think it'll be a lot safer for the for the kids, you know, that, that come in, park there, they go to the beach. Now they're in that middle parking lot, and even there, you know, when they get out of their car, you know, they're they're standing around, you know, um, talking while the parents are unpacking all the stuff. And there's a lot of traffic going on there. So I think if we move it to the other side, it'll be a lot safer. And then uh, if we lose a little bit there, I, I just think it's imperative. I can't vote for anything that doesn't have two lanes going north. If the people can't get to the North Beach, then I'm not in favor of this point. Mike? Yeah, I, like Bob, I, you know, I, I get it. I think it's a safe, you know, the middle parking perhaps isn't the safest thing down there, but I also, you know, the view, people driving along the, you know, is an important part of that, no doubt. So. Dean? Well, we seem to be spent a lot on the parking thing, but I, I do know in talking to, um, on the safety issue, I mean, when when that new parking lot was built, you know, south of the playground, um, it made designated entrances and exits. And I know some people don't like it because they're they're tight, but what it's done is it's it's I think it's it's helped in the safety end of it. You can see it over there, Chuck, at the at the hotel. But once they're full, they're full. Um, and I think what they were trying to do here was is to create almost that second tier or a second part of parking where there's a, a designated in and a designated out so it, we wouldn't be dealing with jumping over the barricade or um, you know or you know people driving straight through you know to avoid the traffic in the two barricades with a parking type thing so um, to the extent of where to put it, you know, if, if you got rid of one of the barricades and work something in on that end, um, I guess that's where I'm, I'm at. The question is, is where? Um, but to the extent of one lane north and one lane south, um, we've, we, we heard it loud and clear, but I think we know it, that people don't want to drive south from, you know, from the condos or whatever up at, you know, Rocky Bend and come south and to turn around and come back because we heard it, we heard and we, we probably all do it too is we, we take a, come out and we take a left and we go north right off and I think that's, that, that's a big, big concern that we, we heard and, and I agree with so maybe I've rambled on. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. To me the safety issue should be paramount and that whole current parking arrangement is intrinsically unsafe. <coughs> it starts at the Ashworth Hotel, where you, when you leave Highland Avenue and try to go north, you can't see any of the traffic coming up Ocean Boulevard until you're in the passing lane on the north side. People frequently go up the middle of the parking lot up to Turd Street to exit the beach at Turd Street, which 
doesn't work very well when you've got traffic flowing on the roadway going left onto Turt Street. Uh, so it just doesn't seem to work. I think putting it on the beach side would enhance the safety dramatically. But these are trade-offs. Ultimately, I personally, and this is a personal feeling I have, there's going to be a wall that's going to take that view away eventually to save the beach from the ocean. So leaving it as it is is probably the least best option. And not addressing the issue at Highland De uh, Avenue and the boulevard leaves one of the significant safety risks in place. There have been fatalities at that intersection. There have been multiple accidents there. And so that's what I, all I have to say. Um, we need to keep the two lanes in each direction uh, in that section. Uh, and I agree with uh, the issue of moving the parking to the beach side. Uh, it's not safe now. Uh, people are out forever climbing those barriers, you know, with little kids, with coolers and chairs and all the rest of this stuff. And, uh, it just doesn't work very well. And it's not, it's ugly. Uh, you know, it doesn't look good. I think we have an opportunity to make it a much better situation. Yeah. Well. Uh, I agree with the safety. Um, <laughs> moving it to the east is certainly going to improve the safety. Um, I guess I'll speak more to the scenic part of it, though. Um, putting up a 40-inch or 4-foot fence over the center just takes away even more. Than what the if you can see through it? It's still more metal. It's still a distraction. Um, and I would say the same thing in my personal opinion. If you left it the way it is, unless you're in that right-hand northbound lane, you're not seeing anything scenic to the right of you anyway because you're looking through traffic, you're looking through cars that are sacked up, you're in queued and such. Um, that scenic, we, we, we talk about the scenic nature. The people that have a scenic view are the people in their homes on the west side that might be up on the first floor, second floor, or higher. Um, but if you're, if you're in a vehicle on street level, um, I don't see how you're going to lose anything scenic by moving parking to the beach because you still have to look over car roofs and stuff, the same as you would if you're driving southbound today the same as you would if you're in the left-hand northbound lane today. Um, moving, it, moving the parking to the right improves the safety and, and really doesn't impact, in my opinion, anything scenic at all. Right. Well, you know, clearly this is not what the people said is what people feel here. The people feel much different. Um, they feel about the scenic, that that's the most important thing. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we're going to have to decide if we're going to listen to the people or not, because I think the people, it's 90 uh, percent, don't want the uh, parking put over on the beach, and maybe 10 percent don't have an opinion. But I recently went to a party at Warren Kelly's uh, uh, condo that he built that's near the, to the north of um, the lighthouse there. And there were at least 20 people there that live in that building. They all felt very strongly about that they don't like the idea of moving the parking to the beach. And uh, the, every, that's a, every time you know people wanted to bring their opinion to me, and that was that was clearly what they were trying to say. Um, I don't feel as strongly about it, except for I feel strongly about that the people do like to drive along, and you do look at the ocean. And I I drive that way all the time to go to my house. And I always look at the ocean. Uh, it's a lot different drive when I go the other way, uh, where there is a wall. Um, you know, and a lot of people in this area like to have uh, SUVs because if you have an SUV or a truck, you can look over the wall. Uh, I don't, so I, you know, the only time I ever really do see the beach is when you're driving in this area. So clearly, at all at the meeting that we had, the people voiced a strong opinion that they want that view. And, uh, you know, this commission has to decide if they want to do what they want or if you want to do what the people want. And I think the people clearly feel different. Now, if you can come up with safety issues, uh, factors that will make it better. Um, and I will tell you, people do use the middle section to drive, uh, to cut, a, you know, to 
to do whatever to try to move along uh, if you're leaving the lighthouse or whatever and you have or in the middle you might drive further than you probably should but people do it all the time also one of the factors that that property is all used uh, very much year-round by all the people that live around there and some of them don't feel that if it is closer to the ocean it's going to be less usable during the winter time um, Again, this is not a big factor for me because I don't live in that area. Uh, but I think the biggest problem is that people think they can drive along there and see the ocean. And that's clearly what I heard when people talked, that that is what they don't want to have taken away from them. Well, I agree. I agree with you. Um, I don't think we should move on to walking to the east side. Um, that's a precious view. And I would like to keep it that way. Now, is the parking in the middle safe and people speeding through it? I think we can work to correct that. You can put an end to the parking at different locations so that the cars have to turn out. If, there's, if they drive in and there's no place to park, they get out and they go down, they can go into the next one and leave spaces enough so that people that live on the west side of the street, um, just south of Boar's Head and want to go up to Winnicott, will be able to cut through one of those places, make that turn, and not have to come all the way down and make a turn like that. I mean, it, well, we heard the woman that lived on Q Street or whatever it was, she said she's, what, an hour and a half going around the block because you have to go around that block down there. I, I, am, I feel very strongly that we need to maintain that view. That's just my personal opinion and maybe a vote of one, but that's that's how I feel. Um, Could we reach out to our chiefs and see what they say? Pardon me? Could we reach out okay. to our chiefs? Sure, the two chiefs, yes. Thank you. Speaking from strictly a safety perspective, the parking should move, be moved over to the east side. The arguments I hear from the people about the view, I would really prefer that while you're driving on a road, you meet your obligation as a driver <laughs> and focus on the road, because yeah. that's your obligation. But you do carry passengers <laughs> who are looking I, at I understand that, but I would rather you miss that pretty view and avoid hitting the child. That's where I'm coming from with it, because that is a dangerous area where that parking is in the middle, both on the road and also in the middle of the parking. The problem, the idea of blocking at each end now you're having people darting in and out of traffic again, which causes problems for us trying to manage the traffic flow. The other problem is our egress off the beach. Right now on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon when we have that heavy traffic, that intersection at Church Street, I know because I come out on many of those afternoons because we're shorthanded, it takes three to four of us to manage those intersections mm -hmm. because of that configuration. Um, I appreciate the view. I grew up down here, and I've, I've had that view most of my adult life. But if I have to pick between safety and aesthetics, I'm going to go with the safety. As far as not using the parking because it's on the east side, geez, I, I had a busy winter, and I, I know I was on TV a lot telling people, please don't come to the beach during the storm. And I'm okay with that. If the waves are coming over and crashing into the parking lot and people can't park there during a the storm, that's helping me out because these people get in the way, and these are the people we're trying to keep away. So... The storm chasers that want to come down and, and view the pretty storm, if that parking gets eliminated from them, I'm okay with that. that that's a problem for us. Um, so the arguments I'm hearing not to move it to the east are counter to safety. It's the I people it. that it's the live view. there that want to park there also. Well, I'll go to your point, Rick. If you have property at the beach, you should have your own parking. Mm. They do. I totally agree. So please don't keep trying to throw things into my mouth. <laughs> I'm, just, no, I don't I'm using your point. I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people there. They live in all those condos and the this and the that. I'm just telling well, you what I people, hear from people. I think people. it's the people that come here to just drive along the beach and look at the view. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. I do the same thing. In they Rye. put grandma in the car and they drag her over from Manchester and take her for an ice cream. She's not driving the car. Right. And. That's what they want to do. But uh, I do understand that there's a problem. I'm just, uh, I think a lot of the problem too is people go in that middle section all winter. People uh, pl have it plowed by either they have it plowed or they dig it out themselves. 
uh, it's just something that's vastly used. Uh, and generally. if we're going to have a rule about the parking, I'm all for it. So please, I would just as soon make some rules and enforce them for a change. Chief, Chief, Chief. Can, just, can I ask one question? Just back, keeping the parking where it is, okay, mm -hmm. and going into the concept of what that parking lot is down by the playground, where there's one in and one out. Yep. Would that work up in that middle section where there it's might better, only be? It's better than what we have now. Because, I mean, why, why, I don't know why it was ever designed to have so many ins and outs of that thing. Predates my time, I'm, I'm not sure either. But, but people but getting on, coming out of their condos and the roads that are down there. Yeah, well, you could, ha you could reduce the number of, of could reduce it, you, you could reduce it to three. All. You could reduce it to three. You know, another thing that is, I grew up here for 55 years, and I will tell you that the parking, as far, particularly at the area of Church Street, used to be much worse 30 years ago. There were much, uh, the police were much more active at that time. There was much more of a backup. Uh, even as, as when I first moved here, probably 35 years ago, uh, there was a backup on the 4th of July always in front of my house. There hasn't been a backup in front of my house on Ocean Boulevard for probably 15 years. So the traffic is actually not as bad today as it was way back. I don't know why. I'm not the one that it does. It has to have some way of how they've directed it, but there isn't as much of a backup. There's never a backup that goes as far as my building, but there used to be on a regular basis. Let me catch the uh, fire chief. Sure. Your comments? Jamie Ayotte, yeah, fire chief. Yeah. Um, to echo what Chief Sawyer had said, we had looked at the plan, and as it was presented, the, the east side parking, if we can call it, along the beach side, that was presented some time ago. Um, I said, this is a brilliant idea, please do it today. The reason I said that is because the northbound side of Ocean Boulevard and the pedestrians that have to cross it, with the idea that people are looking at the ocean and viewing it, they're turning their head to the right, but pedestrians are crossing from their left side, the driver's side of the vehicle, while they're looking out the passenger side. Typically, they're crossing not at crosswalks, not necessarily all at crosswalks. Um, I understand that we do have some barriers. They're, you know, about three foot high. People step over them all the time. They're coming in the middle of the road, down by the statue. And as they're crossing the road, they're, they're walking into a very dangerous situation. From a safety perspective, along with what Chief, Chief Sawyer had said, I feel that the, the parking on the east side will certainly bring down the pedestrian issue when it comes to that. I fully understand that there's, there's parking issues with the residents that, that live in that area. Um, but they're also... They're year round. The, the, the people that we keep talking about is people who come to view this area. That's when we have the, the highest density of population for parking. And that's also the highest pedestrian population. So to look out from a safety perspective, to, to weigh in with what um, Rich said, I think that for us, we examine that from parking on the east side is reducing the pedestrian traffic and the potential for injury. Well, <coughs> instead of those, um, <coughs> that metal stripping that they have there now, if you put up a 48, inch nice looking like a fence um, uh, n not i mean the plastic you know how the uh, bernie's bar if you look at what he's got around sure. if you put something up like that people can see through it so it's not taking away the it's still crossing two lanes of traffic but you're not going to stop you're not going to be able to step over it if it's that high right but they'll still be crossing two lanes of traffic so the northbound lanes will still continue to be driving northbound and if you're on the inside Typically, not always, but typically, you'll see that the people who are on the inside lane, they're looking to take a left to leave the beach area. They're going to be going down 101 or wherever they may be going. So, in essence, those cutouts in the parking, in the central parking, they're looking to go through to leave the beach. As a means of um, evacuation or egress, to, to leave the beach, we already have choke points there at Church Street. Uh, to continue on further up, we'll, we'll continue to do that. Our primary areas, and I know that there was a jug handle that was put on a map talking about that, trying to get people to leave. Our primary areas of people arriving and staying, they're crossing at all of the openings. But they're crossing to go to the beach. That's their intent. If we put the parking on the same side, then we eliminate the problem with the hazard of people in the street. And are there statistics of where there are more traffic and more people getting hit by uh, uh, vehicles? Because I'm the people that I know that have been hit, and clients of mine, it's always on the southbound lanes, 
and it's usually because of when the sun the sun is setting or whatever and you get blinded come headed south it's not so much on the ocean side that i know and i've i've, I've had at least two clients <coughs> have had their lives changed going on the southbound lane and getting hit by a car by people blinded by the sun when it's setting i assume is do you have statistics if there's more people hit on one side or the other? I don't know if they, I don't know if they are. I can research that. Yeah, that would be like interesting, I think. Well, I, I do agree that we need to maintain two lanes uh, travel north and south. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I think that the town needs to be thinking about um, and the state um, is the Church Street situation. You've got two mm -hmm. lanes coming in on Highland Avenue to get to the beach from 101. You need two lanes going out. So there may be some way that you could begin thinking now about dealing with some of the people um, that maybe 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road, you'd be able to take some property to make that two lanes going out. I've heard it discussed, so I know it's not impossible. Um, I'm just throwing that out there to um, mm -hmm. think about. Um, we've got a church there that just sold a big hunk of property. Um, we're going to see major building there if we don't start thinking about trying to work with the people there and be able to take some of the property to widen that street. What did they sell? In Portsmouth. Pardon me? Oh, not You're the church. No, I'm talking about, uh, I thought, I thought the, that That's church. Help. Pardon me? No. no. I thought they sold a, some, a piece of property there. Just the Maybe somebody's talking about it then. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think we need two lanes to get off the beach there. So if you wizards can think of something, why? Well, that would be a good idea. Okay, well, it'll be interesting to see how you folks write that one up. Boys <laughs> <laughs> uh, head to Winnicott.